Welcome back to KPRC 2 Plus. We know many families are stretched thin right now, paying for groceries and gas. And now it's time for back to school shopping. Yeah, with all that in mind, staying within your budget is critical. Local financial professional Ryan Wheelis from Allied Wealth joins us with some money saving tips that can help families stay on track. So what we want to talk right now, talk about first is what parents can expect to spend this year because it's more. I mean, every year it goes up, but parents should be spending more on back to school items, right? Well, they're going to spend about 250 bucks per child on back to school supplies this year's. And that's from new backpacks and lunch boxes to notebooks and clothes. I mean, if you look at it all, it adds up quickly. And I mean, even myself last night, putting my kids in school this year, we were at the, the schoolhouse last night with the meet the teacher mm -hmm. and the, the list of stuff they gave me. I'm like, wow, <laughs> you know, those really must be feeling the pressure this year because costs are up substantially from last year. Um, you know, and then inflation's running around 9.1%. Um, and my concern is, is that I don't want the, the, the parents at home right now watching this to feel pressure to go out and buy all the latest and greatest stuff and rack up a bunch of credit card debt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so Ryan, what are some of the best ways to save here in Texas? Well, a couple of things to, to be aware of is that August 5 through 7 uh, for clothing, backpacks and school supplies, falls under the tax holiday and what that means is you simply pay no sales tax on that so that's a pretty good amount of savings right there uh, keep in mind the taxes are capped at a hundred dollars mm -hmm. but still every dollar adds up and shopping during this time period is a great way to save money on back to school supplies but let's let's be real here if for some reason the financial well-being of august five to seven for you getting your paycheck or whatever doesn't work out Folks, don't go broke saving money. It's okay. Don't worry about it. What I don't want you to do again is go rack up a bunch of high interest credit card debt to try to take advantage of this tax free holiday. Just let it bypass and wait a little bit and wait till your check comes in, wait till your, your bank account's right and that sort of thing, and then go do the shopping. That's an excellent tip because you yeah. see all the promotions for it and you get amped up, but if you don't have it right now, then just wait in a week or whatever your next check comes in and take right care of it. Don't spend it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we know that like the kids aren't using all of those supplies in the first week of school. Mm -hmm. So that is mm -hmm. a good point. And you've got some other strategies that families yeah, can use. That's, that, that's, that leads me into the next point, obviously. So, so, you know, make a list of what you need and then kind of prioritize, right? So do they need the new backpack today? Do they need, you know, if you're going to buy them five pairs of jeans to last them a school year, do they need all five today? maybe you buy the stuff in stages right maybe you buy half of it now half of it later that's a good way to kind of break up the cost and then you know the the other thing to do too is take an inventory of what you already have you'd be surprised at what you have laying around the house right yeah. that actually fits on that list that you need to to buy for your son or daughter um that is laying around and that too can save you a substantial amount of money just kind of rehashing the old stuff that you already have yeah, we were just talking about backpacks. I told my six year last night that backpack in your closet is still good. Right. We're using it yeah. for another school year. If so. the zipper's not broken, yeah, I mean, Home right. Goods always has like a huge selection of Very backpacks. True. We've That's done true. that in years past. Zippers are cheap to fix, by the way. And one of the things we used to do when I was in high school was we always fo uh, focused on who had the oldest backpack, which is kind of one thing. <laughs> I like a contest. Yeah, right. Let's get our kids involved <laughs> in that contest. Exactly. exactly. Um, get, anybody can go get the new latest and greatest backpack, but you can't go out and find one that's 12 years old, you know? Yes, that's right. That's right. Retro. Yeah. I like that. Hey, Ryan, what else do families need to consider financially as we head into the fall here? Well, the big thing is inflation is running very high. Uh, we also have gas prices up, grocery prices up. Everybody's feeling the pressure. So the main thing I want people to do is not overspend. Please, 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 folks, I've said it for the third time now in this interview, <laughs> do not go rack up a bunch of credit card debt because what's going to happen is I believe that rates are going to continue to rise yeah. and that's going to increase the cost um, uh, on your credit card interest which can wipe out the savings, by the way, of the tax-free holiday. Yeah. So just be mindful of that and be careful of that going forward, please. So important to remember that. Yeah, all yeah. very good information. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, it, taking inventory, I know, like every year they come home with all this stuff. I've but, probably got 14 pairs of those scissors that they need every single year <laughs> that we just buy again. Exactly. And I should just hand them out to the whole class. All right, local financial professional Ryan Wheelis from Allied Wealth, thanks so much for coming on this morning. Thanks for having me. Be well. Thanks, Ryan. Likewise, some good reminders there.